All right, what is up, Transformer fans? This is the video review of Transformers Prime Cyberverse Commander Class Ironhide. And here he is in his vehicle mode, looking nice and beefy. We'll go ahead and take a look at his weapons first, because that's what I do. So anyway, he comes with a pair of identical uh, cannons. They're not different. They are exactly the same. They have a peg right there, a peg right there, and a peg on the end. They have a peg hole right there, and a peg hole in the cannon nose thing and so you can combine them to make a giant cannon of doom so that is possible so there's that they are very nice one thing I do want to point out and I've already taken the liberty of combining these two weapons beforehand um, if you you can combine these weapons that is a gimmick yes um, but there's one thing I want you to look at it, you can see here bulkhead optimus and ironhide's cannons these are the three com autobot commanders that have come out so far you can see bulkhead's weapon is a little more green well, Optimus is a little more kind of a tealy color, and Ironhide's is more of a like a sky blue. It's weird that they're all different shades of blue. They're all... Not, it's not really coming across as well on camera as it is in person, but you can still see the difference, me looking through the lens right now. You can tell they're all different colors, which is odd. You'd think that they would use the same colored plastic for each figure, but I guess that's not the case. Well, anyway, Ironhide has a lot of places where you can put these weapons, there's a peg hole there, a peg hole there, and one on either side, excuse me, of the truck. I had the hiccup there. And then, what I usually do is, if I can keep these legs together, dadgummit. Anyway, what I usually do is I usually peg them in facing out backwards like thrusters. You can point them forward, which I don't understand why, because he'd be shooting through his uh, cab. But uh, then the more common place to put him is right here on his side. So he's kind of got like side-mounted cannons. Um, so there's that. Anyway, we'll go ahead and talk about Ironhide here in his vehicle mode. He is a nice, uh, beefy, like off-road truck. You can see he's got a nice uh, silvery chrome grill. And this is a beautiful like reddish-orange. And I will compare the colors in robot mode. I'll get to that later on. Uh, he does have more chrome up here, a lot of black, which is really cool because they've done this truck mode to look like the movie, but they've given him enough G1, and even more G1 will come out in his robot mode, but it is like a mix between the movie Ironhide and the G1 Ironhide, which is really cool. I like that they did this, and I hope that this guy's going to be in the show. It's more than likely going to happen because he's already got a deluxe coming out in addition to a remold that is Cup, but anyway go ahead and compare him to Bulkhead, and Bulkhead has finally been trumped with the biggest Autobot um, in vehicle mode. Optimus Prime is a truck, of course, so he's not as big due to having a large cab section and a rear section for the trailer. But Bulkhead is definitely trumped here. Ironhide does outsize him in the vehicle mode category. He is so big and so hefty, and he just looks so cool. So, um, we'll go ahead and transform him. What you want to do first, you want to take these, uh, the headlight sections and you want to lift them up. Lift them up like that. Then it does it automatically for me. You want to take the tailgate and lift it up like so. And then bend it down like that. Then what you want to do is come around to the top here. You want to split the roof in half and they kind of angle down out to the side at an angle. Then what you can do is you take, actually you're going to want to rotate the entire middle section around right there. Then, uh, I'm going to flip them upside down. You separate the shoulders and they swivel down. Swivel down. So now you got that. You can go ahead and straighten his arm out. This wheel rotates around to the back. And close up. It usually pops off its joint, but you can close that up around his hand. The tire rotates around to the back, and then close this part up against his hand. Then you can split the tailgate down here. Oh, one thing I forgot to do real quick before I do his legs is you take the headlight sections and you flip them back over so that now he has shoulder guards. Then you can rotate these pieces. They rotate out at an angle, then the foot flips down. And I'll do that again with more emphasis here in a second. It rotates out at an angle and then the foot flips down. And then it's just a matter of uh, straightening him up. And here we have 
Ironhide in his robot mode, and he looks so very cool. This is an awesome robot mode. Let me prop the camera up a little bit. If it will do so. There it goes. I'm using a coin to prop the camera up. If that's anybody wants to know what that scrapey noise is, it's because I'm using a coin. You know, I don't really want to buy a camera stand until I get my iPhone, so... Anyway, and that's, of course, the faults of using a coin. They will fail on you frequently. But anyway, there's Ironhide in his robot mode. He looks so cool. Here you can see what I was talking about. The G1 does come out because he has the window chest plate, a very nice accurate G1 head. I'll zoom in on that in a minute. The big beefy shoulders kind of harken back to the movie Ironhide, and so do the legs, but this guy to me looks more G1 than movie. Now, I don't know why, it's just, uh, it's maybe it's the red talking. If he was all black, I guarantee you I'd probably say he's more movie. But the red just shines as a G1 Ironhide. And then you can take his cannons here, and he can hold them. You have to open this up, or you'll risk popping this off. He can hold it in his hand right here. I'll do a variant on either side, and you got to close that back. Open this back up. So you can get leverage from behind to peg this in, and you can also, this is where I store them on his arms, but some people might want him holding them, and you can store it right there, close that back up. So there you have Ironhide, he's holding one in his hand, and he's got it mounted on his arm here. So there is that. Alright, I will um, go ahead and compare him color-wise now. Here he is with Cliff Jumper, who is a more, more of a bright red. Uh, you can see here, uh, Cliff Jumper's coming across as kind of pink compared to Ironhide, but Cliff Jumper is a beautiful red, and Ironhide is a little bit more orangey. Now to bring in the big boss himself. I can straighten his arm up. There's Optimus, and you can see he is taller than Ironhide, but that Ironhide is bigger than Bulkhead. Unfortunately, Bulkhead's in vehicle mode right now, and I'm not going to transform him. Because uh, then I'll be focused on that. But anyway, there's Ironhide. So Optimus is taller than Ironhide. Almost the same height. They're very similar. But Optimus is just a bit taller. So Ironhide is bigger than Bulkhead, but he's a little bit shorter than Prime. And here you can see definitely Prime has the more um, more of a candy apple red here. Um, so you can now clearly see how Ironhide is more of an orange. So anyway... Something I probably did not do in Dreadwing's review, which I'm very sorry to do, say I neglected to. I'll probably redo that here in a minute. But I did not uh, need to do articulation, because this guy has a lot of articulation. He has a ball joint in his hip, a bend, a hinge joint at his knee. This swivel joint you can take advantage from transformation, and then his foot has a swivel joint as well. Shoulders are completely ball jointed. No waist or uh, neck articulation. But he does have this little swivel if you want to use the wheel as something. He does have an in and out upper shoulder swivel and a ball jointed elbow. So that's Ironhide. And overall, he's very nice. I really want to see him in the show so I can actually have a merit to buying this figure because um, he's awesome. So anyway, thanks for viewing this video and goodbye.